apparently uh, Walgreens on Yonkers Avenue um, uh, decided to get the medication. They transferred uh, the medication from the Walgreens on Nepperhen Avenue, which is located nearby Luisa's uh, apartment, Luisa Oyarsson's apartment. The chronically ill epileptic patient whose benefits uh, have been stolen and sold to illegal aliens by Mafia member Kevin McGuire. After uh, AARP representative called the pharmacy because they were refusing to sell Luisa Oyarsun the medication because she reported their boss, the Mafia boss, Kevin McGuire. Um, AARP representative told them that they had to sell the medication to Luisa Oyarsun. So instead of uh, getting the medication uh, at the Walgreens uh, of uh, Neperhen Avenue, that's located nearby Luisa's home. They decided to put it, uh, to take it to Yonkers Avenue. So uh, I had to drive uh, longer in um, Luisa Oyarsun, a chronically ill uh, patient, had to be taken uh, to a, a far away a place to get the medication because I cannot leave her alone uh, due to her chronic ill uh, situation and ep epilepsy. And uh, so I called Yonkers Avenues and I asked for the store manager or the pharmacy manager three times on uh, 17th of June 2014 at approximately 12.20 p.m. and um, they gave me the run around and they transferred me three times to different people except the uh, people that I asked for, the pharmacy manager or the store manager. Therefore, I am calling um, AARP again to find out if uh, they can resolve the problem. United Healthcare. We're happy to help you get the information you need today. Para continuar en español, oprima el número 7. In a few words, please tell me the reason for your call today. You can say things like, I have a prescription drug question, or I have a question about a bill. So what can I help you with? At any time, you can say representative, and I'll connect you with someone. Sure. To get you to the right representative, please say or enter your member ID number. That's the 10-digit number on the front of your member ID card. Or, if you do not have your ID card, you can say, I don't have it. Go ahead and enter the membership ID number now, or say, I don't have it. I still didn't get that. Enter the membership ID number using your telephone keypad or say, I don't have it. Okay, just to confirm, that was zero zero five seven four five two three four one. Is that right? I recognize this phone number. For security, please tell me your date of birth. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right. Please hold while I connect you to a representative. Just so you know, this call might be recorded by our quality assurance people. Would you be willing to take a brief survey at the end of this call? Thank you. Now, just so you know, when you've finished speaking with the representative, you'll need to stay on the line to take the survey. I'm transferring you now. Hey, after you finish talking with the agent, just press pound 9 to be transferred to the survey. Also, if the agent you speak to needs to transfer your call, the survey may not be available. Good afternoon, and thank you for calling United Healthcare. I'm Amy Alex. And who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Uh, this is Professor Solange Martinez. How are you, Alex? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. How about yourself? Uh, not so good. Um, Alex, I uh, called because there is a chronically ill epileptic citizen uh, that needs some medication and because uh, we had to report uh, a mafia member that's stealing the uh, citizen's identities and government benefits, that mafia member called Kevin McGuire sent his um, mafia subordinates or employees after this chronically ill epileptic uh, elderly patient patient and uh, every time we go to a pharmacy he sends them to follow us and harass um, belittle and antagonize uh, this chronically ill elderly citizen Luisa Oyarsun and what he has done is to, t um, uh, uh, to tell the pharmacist not to sell her the medication or make trouble uh, to see if uh, the medication is delayed as much as possible. Uh, yesterday I called um, AARP uh, you and I spoke to Gina, uh, who uh, fixed a problem uh, regarding the medication. Walgreens uh, mafia members did not want to sell her the medication. So Gina spoke with them and told them that that was illegal, of course. And I imagine that she also told them that they can lose their license uh, because of their behavior. Um, and uh, they said that they were going to give her, sell her the medication today, that it was going to be at a Walgreens that's uh, by uh, Luisa Oyarsun's house at 1230 Nepperhen Avenue in Yonkers, New York. And they sent that to a very far away Walgreens that's located on Yonkers Avenue, uh, about 45 minutes or 40 minutes away from Luisa's home. Uh, now I called Walgreens uh, at uh, Yonkers Avenue and they refused to speak with me. I asked for the store manager or the pharmacy manager and they kept on transferring me to other people and left me waiting on the phone. Um, I spoke to them four times and they are playing games. Could you call them and tell them that what they're doing is illegal and that they're supposed to send the medication to the Walgreens that uh, I used to pick up the last medications at and not at the Walgreens that's far away from uh, Luisa Oyarsun's house so they can delay the medication as much as possible as they usually do. Sure. Uh, give me just one moment to pull up the account and then I'll take care of everything. Yeah. Alex, do you happen to have an ID number? Um, yes, let me check. Give me one moment. Well, actually, the member, I'm sorry, my ID number is actually part of my last name, so I can't give you my ID number, unfortunately. I can give you the first name, which is Alex. Last initial, my, my first initial, my last name, which is T as in Texas. T as in Texas? Yes, that's correct. So, Alex T. Thank you so much. The last time I went to pick up her medication um, was Walgreens at uh, 1230 Nepperhen Avenue, Yonkers, New York, 10703. And I gave that phone number to the representative by the name of Gina yesterday uh, at your company, 914 
969-7944 and Gina called them and they said that they were going to have the medication today by 2 o'clock and uh, I called and they said that the medication is at the far far away uh, Walgreens which is usually what they do to delay the medication getting to Luisa or Yarson. Yeah, and I do apologize. It looks like our representative yesterday did call that Walgreens that was you know, very far away on Yonkers Avenue. She called them both. Yeah. Uh, okay. The number for the Walgreens that I picked up the last medications for her was 914-969-7944. Uh, Can I, me puede dar esto? No es. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Uh, see if you have any luck because that's what uh, the ladies uh, by the name of Gina from your company asked them yesterday and they agree and then they went and did uh, what they did. Yeah, okay. And I do apologize on her behalf as well. Uh, give me just a few moments to try to contact the pharmacy, okay? Thank you much. You're very welcome. <laughs> 